Adam like Becker. Alright. Uh, so we've got five of them now. And then Isabel should be Iceland power supply? Uh, equal to. Oh, power yeah, supply. and that would be. Alright, then we got six of them. And Lisa Bell. Well, this is that. Um, current nuclear Eli. Oh, yeah, Eli. So it's 90 degrees counterclockwise of Isabel? Yeah. It leads, so there's an Isabel, so it's going to be 90 degrees beyond that, so let's go back to our voltage one. So that would be. Uh, e is supposed to stand for voltage, right? Or you can solve e, sta e stands for voltage. V stands for voltage. So that would be a L. Yeah, I'm, I'm, this seems to be the tradition, uh, not putting the delta in front of it. All right, and so now one more to go. The E and F. EL plus VR. Yep, then you add like vectors, so I've got. Phaser diagram. Wait. I thought V sub L lags behind I sub L. Or the way around. V sub L leads. Oh. Eli, the or Becker, he comes before I. Oh, okay. Oh, crap. Hmm. All right, the second part is what's the mathematical relationship between I C, I L, and I R? Well, it's the sum of the other two, and it's that's a right triangle there. So I L squared is equal to I C squared plus I R squared. Done. It's a right triangle. Yep. Oh my god. And the next one, what's the mathematical relationship between epsilon sub naught, V C, and V L? Off cosines, I guess. Uh, yeah. yeah. What did I actually? How detailed did I want them to get? All right. So. Well, not nearly. This is some. Uh, so this. Let's go for another stunning color. Orange. Or whatever that is. Yeah. Uh, orange. Is it red? Orange, green, sickle. <laughs> sickle. So that's pi over six. I think I said what it is. <laughs> I know that this would be 90 degrees. That's a right angle there. So that is would be, that's three pi over six, so that's four pi over six, so that's two pi over three. And this angle right there, well, if I look at that triangle, this is IR, that is IC, this would be IL. That angle right there, is the arctan of IC over IR. Uh, so I'll label that phi. So phi is the arctan of IC over IR. IC is, well, that's the VC divided by XC. IR. It's I'll give myself enough room there. Keep it over here. So this is the arctan of VC over XC. And IR is VR over R. 
Well, VC and VR are the same thing, so this is just the R pin of R over XC. I know this angle right here is 90 degrees past that. So therefore this angle is going to be five or six plus uh, this angle to here, which is arctan of R over XC plus five or two. That's what I just wrote down in the green color over there. I've got this angle right here, and I have epsilon sub naught here. There's my VR or VC, and this is VL. So I need to figure out that angle. And I should be able to do it with what I have here. Uh, I know that this angle here is the same set of angles, piece of labels. Let's call this phi 2 and phi 2. Call that theta. Um, oh, this angle here is the complement of theta, and that's a right angle. And so this angle here must be, we'll label this phi 3. The phi 3 is equal to pi, uh, 2 pi, minus phi 2, minus pi over 2, minus the complement of theta. And so now, looking at the triangle, man, I must have been in a bad mood when I did this. All right. So, <laughs> VL, VC. And so the last question is, what is the relationship between these three things? Well, I know that angle now. This is epsilon sub naught squared is equal to VL squared plus VC squared minus 2VLVC times the cosine of that angle, which is 2 pi minus phi 2, which is this phi over 6 plus the arctan of r over xl or xc this was the beginning. plus pi over 2 um, minus pi over 2 minus pi over, minus pi over two. 2 minus the complement of theta which is pi over 3 it's as simple as that <laughs> this was the beginning and there's 10 of these to get well, that, 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 was, that was the end of problem seven. Uh, problem eight, I will say, was just completely screwed up. So, <laughs> I don't think many people really worked on number eight, but yeah, that was just, that was messed up. And then nine and 10 were relativity problems. Oh, yeah. But I guess we'll talk about relativity tomorrow. Now, hopefully, you're looking at all this and going, Monday's going to be a breeze. A breeze. <laughs> yeah, that's just, I was realizing that after the last thing you said, the, the strategy of starting at the end, the secure people to use it. I actually did not tell the students that's how I was going to do the grading. Uh, and then, then uh, like two years later, uh, I was told, I can't do that because it's not fair to the students for them not to know how much the problem is worth. But I don't, think that I, I don't tell you how much any problem is worth anyway, so. Yeah. It's not like you're just 
Like it's random making it fail. Yeah, I mean it's, it's the it's like rating system. I come up with three different ways of calculating your final score. I mean it's anyway. I can't do that. I can't do it that way anymore. Yeah. You know, hey, last year I was a little worried, but this year it's like I'm totally okay. I don't understand your grading system, but I know it's it's consistent and it's fair. So I think it makes sense, and it just test is worth two parts and then whatever one you do the best on is worth two parts and the other one's just worth one part? The middle one is worth two two parts. Oh, the middle. The test is, yeah, not the best one, but the middle one. Okay. <coughs> the okay. middle. But, you know, basically you're on a 20 point grading scale to begin with. So. Hi, Dr. Fox, you have two minutes to yeah. uh, this. Uh, so I'm gonna stop recording here. There it is. And Mikaia, I hope you have a wonderful afternoon.